Hello guys, today I'll show you how to accurately track the position of a subject, like a go-kart in this case, and how to synchronize it with a dot that is moving along a set path. Something like this is very useful in situations like these, where you want to show the exact position of the go-kart on a map. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so what I've done here is, is I created a timeline with the go-kart footage, then I inserted a map of the actual go-kart track that I found on the internet and then I added a red dot. To create the red dot just paint a dot with a red brush in Photoshop, Paint or any other drawing software or just google a red dot and download a PNG file. After this is done we can start positioning the red dot and syncing its position with the actual position of the go-kart. Now keep in mind that this cannot be done automatically. This whole process is fully manual and it's not possible to do this any other way. To start things off we should first figure out where the go-kart is located right now in comparison to the track map, so that we know where our starting position is. As far as I can tell we are in the pit lane, uh, which would be this line here, and I believe this is the finish line, so this is roughly over here, uh, we are a little bit uh, down on the um, pit lane, so I think the dot should be roughly here. So what we'll do is we'll select the dot, go into effects controls panel and we will position the dot right about here, actually a little bit to the side because the pit lane is curved in the map. So I think, I think this should be good. Now the first thing we need to do is make it a keyframe so that the uh, location is saved and now the next thing is we'll start playing the footage to about here where the go-kart will start moving and we will set another keyframe. The reason for this is we don't want the red dot to move before the actual go-kart does. Okay so now that the first position is set, uh, we should set the second position which uh, will be before the go-kart enters the first turn. Uh, let's start playing the clip, let's skip a little bit ahead. Uh, about here. So now that now we know that the go-kart is exactly here in terms of position with the map. So what we'll do is we'll uh, set another keyframe for the red dot and place it here. Um, now what I want you to do is select a motion here uh, and then you can either use the um, values here to move the dot up or what I would do is uh, mouse over the dot when you see this. Um, it's actually the uh, scale icon but I don't know why you can move it with this icon. So just grab the dot, sometimes it doesn't work like this, now it did, uh, and position the dot roughly where you think the turn starts, uh, like here. Um, the reason why we select motion is so that we see this path. This will be very important for us to create the actual turns. Uh, you'll see this with the next keyframe. Let's uh, unpause the clip. And let's go to about here where the go-kart exits the turn. So now what we have to do is, let's zoom in a little bit. Now we have to create the path for the actual turn because if you just position the dot here, then you can see the path uh, is not that great and it's not according to the actual turn itself. So you can position it like this uh, or you can drag it here and then what you need to pay attention to is these small little blue dots that you can see. One is here and one is here. Uh, these are for adjusting the path itself for the curvature. It's the same thing as uh, working with the pen tool in Photoshop or even here but they are like so small it's really hard to see them sometimes. So simply adjust the curvature according to the actual map and everything will be fine. Now let's zoom out again and let's um, move roughly here. 
Uh, let's drive, 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 and he's entering the turn, which should be around here. The most important thing with this whole process is, uh, is that you position the go-kart where you think uh, he'll enter or exit a turn. The best way is to usually use uh, uh, a keyframe before he enters the turn and when he exits a turn so that you can adjust the curvature of the turn itself. So now we know that the go-kart is roughly here uh, and we'll position the keyframe again. Let's go up here. Let's drag the red dot roughly over there. Sometimes you can drag it, but sometimes you can't. I don't know why Premiere does this. Um, so we'll just use the position values here, which is a bit annoying because you have to do a lot more like adjusting other than just simply taking the dot and dragging it. Um, okay, so let's uh, see. The curvature looks good here. Let's zoom out again. Let's drive a little bit forward when he exits the turn, which is here. You can see a straight line, which means he the go-kart is roughly here. We'll go zoom in again. And now we need to place the red dot about here. I'll try to do this again from here. Yeah, I don't know why this sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of weird, let me see. Yeah, you see, now I can drag it. Even though it showed uh, the same scale icon here, which is kind of weird. I don't know why this is happening. So let's zoom in. So now you can see this created a sharp angle and a straight line, which we don't want. We always want to adjust this. So we need to find these little blue dots, which allow us to change the curvature. So we'll adjust this one here. And I believe the second one is here. Yeah. And we'll simply drag it out to adjust it and create a nice and smooth path for our red dot. Now let's zoom out again. Let's drive to roughly here where he will enter the turn again. And pause here. So let's zoom in again or let's try to move it. Yeah, this works when it's zoomed out. As soon as we zoom in, for some reason, it starts to scale it. Okay, let's uh, move here. So now you can see there's a little bump here that we should correct. And we need to find this thing and drag it and straighten this out a little bit. Uh, one more thing that's kind of a tip here is you can take the playhead here and drag it a little bit. And then you can see it will add sort of a snake tail for the path when you uh, move or across the keyframes. So when you move forward, it sort of uh, pulls the tail in again. So this way you can simply uh, have a check or simply verify that uh, the path is correctly because once you set a new keyframe and you change the curvature, it will also slightly change the previous path to sort of round the whole path according to your sort of latest uh, keyframe. So what I usually do is I always do this to check if the path is correct at the end. Now let's go back to the last keyframe. Zoom out again and let's probably position uh, the go-kart before he enters or exits uh, here because there's like a slight curve here again or no we can actually okay we are only straight again which means uh the car go kart is roughly here so let's take it and move it about here let's zoom in so that we can adjust it a little bit better uh, it is in the middle of the track but as you can see it created sort of a weird path so uh, let me show you how this would actually look if we don't adjust it. So now the red dot is here and then it does not follow the black path, obviously. So we need to adjust that. 
let's go to this keyframe let's zoom in again go up here and now let's adjust the path so find the small blue dot and let's create a curvature now it's very hard to see where the second blue dot is uh, when you mouse over it usually is it changes the icon to a black circle uh, as you can see here it's white circle and here it's black circle so there's really not anything else you can do other than try to search for it oh i found it it's here and now let's adjust the curvature according to the path of the map itself i think this looks good now let's move it back a little bit to check if this path is correct it looks okay for now we can always micro adjust uh, if we need to but basically this is the whole process how to do this whole thing now let's uh, go back to the start and let's see what we have done so the dot starts moving when the go-kart does now it uh, drives along the pit lane as soon as the go-kart will reach the turn the red dot will do it as well in the turn now it's out of the turn and it follows the path quite nicely always uh, as i said we can always micro adjust and make it uh, even more perfect but this looks very good so far okay and that's pretty much it this is how you create the path for the dot according to the uh, track map and it's synced with the go-karts position on the map so there you go i hope this video was useful to you and you'll use these techniques in one of your future projects as always thanks for watching and if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe for upcoming videos